Okay. So yeah, thank you so much for joining. I hope that this is a good um, kind of re-wake up for the day. Um, my mom made some very potent tea, so I'm like ready to go. I was having a full-on conversation with no one in the room and I was very aware I was just talking to blow off energy. So with that, we're gonna get started. Um, today's flow, it's gonna be based off um, just like the uh, vinyasa sequence, which is a fairly common um, modality of practice, but it really does move through some signature poses, so we'll make sure to hit, um, hit those. Um, and I will try to um, cue your breath a little bit more mindfully so that, um, so that we remember that we are, um, we are, um, that we are moving with um, with intention and that it's not that our movements cause us to breathe heavily because we are energized, but rather it is the breath that brings life into the movement itself. So even if um, if this practice is, is new or you just want, you know, a little bit more, um, something more to go by, thinking of taking that breath before a gesture. You so don't have to follow my I'm rhythm if it doesn't like, fit your breath. Um, I'm just yep, a guide. Um, so thinking, okay, I take an inhale and how does that bring the movement into, um, into my body? On the exhale, how does that change the movement? So just thinking of like how you breathe in rhythm with the, any movement, it, it can flow any way you like. So without further ado, we're gonna get into our vinyasa practice. We're gonna start slowly and mindfully and, um, and then we're gonna speed it up a little bit. Um, I'm just gonna make sure everybody here is muted. All right. And away we go. Beautiful. Great. All right. All right. So we're going to just take a moment to come to our mats and settle for a couple moments. Great. All right. All right. So find yourself into a comfortable seating position. You can begin to drop your chin slightly towards your chest. Let your eyes relax. Maybe they even close. Let's bring our palms on top of our legs. Let's uh, extend our index finger and bring them to our thumb into our chin mudra, which some of us have seen before. The index finger symbolizing our universal, excuse me, index finger is our individual consciousness. Our thumb symbolizing the universal consciousness. And by touching them together, we unite with the universal, connecting with each other. Bringing subtle awareness into this small movement, this small position. And take a deep breath in through your nose. And release through parted lips. And again, deep inhale down your spine, into your belly, through your nose. And simply let it go through parted lips. One more like that. Inhale deeply. Let it go. And just in your own way, bringing deep breaths in through your body. And practice releasing the air in any way that suits you today. The prana uh, the breath, um, it's sort of, it's, it's known by many things in the yoga tradition, but also as this life force, bringing life into your body with each, each inhale, and on every exhale, you're bringing life into the world around you. Really feeling your sits bones, making contact with the floor or whatever you're sitting on, feeling grounded there. Excellent. And begin to slowly flutter your eyes open, relax your hands. Let's just reach our arms out and up in the early morning stretch. Right hand reaches for that left wrist, stretch nice and tall, inhale. Leading with that exhale, begin to round to the right side. Slight stretch through the left. Your next inhale brings you back up to a tall spine. Your next exhale stretches you to the left. One more time. Inhale brings you up tall. Change your grip. Exhale reaches you over. Heart stays open. Try to stay for each breath. 
Inhale brings you tall. Switch your grip. Exhale brings you over. Inhale tall, separate your hands. And exhale, just a gentle bow forward. You can stop wherever is comfortable or you can walk forward. Take a breath here. On your next inhale, walk yourself back up, rounding through your spine. Excellent. We're gonna come onto our hands and knees, moving as we often do through our spine to begin. So we're going to inhale, dropping the belly, tailbone lifts, gaze lifts, cow pose. And exhale, reversing. Doming through the spine, hands underneath your shoulders, knees under your hips. Inhale, you can even bring it close to your eyes. Cow pose. Exhale, slowly your tailbone domes, your head is the last thing to come down, pushing through those hands. Inhale to signify movement through the spine as you curve through your back. Exhale, leading with the breath, tailbone, low spine, ending with your neck. Moving your own rhythm, try to get in touch with the breath. Can you lead with breath? What does that even mean? Just play around. I encourage you to make noise with your breath. Making noise helps us become more aware of it. So you might even hear me making very deep inhales and exhales. If you need to take any other movements here, little circles or figure eights, you can take those now. Excellent. And when you feel your spine is getting a little more limber, you can come back into a neutral spine. I love how I open the window to hear the sound of the birds and I just hear like sirens and stuff in the background. <laughs> Hopefully that will pass and everyone's okay. So let's just, just step our hands out about a palm's um, distance, curl our toes, and let's get going with our flow. Inhale here, and exhale, leading with your tailbone, like you're being picked out of a petri dish. You're just a specimen being led by your tailbone. Inhale in your downward dog. Exhale, remain in your downward dog, but begin to walk out your feet, bringing any movements you need to just get warmed up, feel into the position. When you get settled, your knees can still be bent. That's absolutely fine. Just take a look at your palms. Have your knuckles lifted up. Let's try to press, the, especially that index finger knuckle down so we can take the absorption out of our um, wrists. Let's take a deep inhale through our nose. Sigh it out. <sighs> Two more, I like that. Inhale deeply. Sigh it out. <sighs> Inhale deeply. Let it go. <sighs> Excellent. Gaze forward, bend your knees, begin to step with big steps, your hands towards your feet, and keep your knees bent. Reach opposite elbows, relax your neck, and hang. Now it is a warm day today, if you're practicing in the tri-state area. We're gonna generate some heat, we're gonna generate some sweat stains, which will be delightful. <laughs> um, do what you can. If you find that it's, it's simply just too warm, please, I'm not in your bodies. So do what you need to do to keep yourself safe, to keep yourself um, feeling good, feeling flowy. All right, release your fingers, knees to uh, bend. Bend your knees, inhale, reaching your arms out and up, standing tall, hands come to prayer above your head, deep inhale, tall spine, exhale, bow forward. Inhale, halfway lift, hands come to shins or thighs, extend through the lower tailbone, through the crown of your head. Take a breath here, final inhale. Exhale, release. Bend your knees, reach your arms out, 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 up to the top. Hands come together, inhale tall. Exhale, bow forward, heart leading. Inhale, halfway lift, length through that spine. Exhale, release. 
final one in the sequence. Reach your arms out, 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 up as you come tall. Palms come together. You can even do a back bend on your inhale. And exhale, swan dive forward. Well done. Inhale, halfway lift. Shoulders are still engaged in the shoulder sockets. Exhale, release. Palms come down, knees bent. Step your right foot back and your left foot back. You can stay in your high plank. Um, especially if it's your first plank of the day, drop those knees. Feel the belly button pulling in towards the spine. Excellent. We're going to extend that right foot wherever you are. If you're in high plank, it looks something like this, low plank like this. And then turn the right toes out, bend your knee, try to touch your elbow. Inhale, send it back. Exhale, touch that elbow. Inhale, send it back. If at any point you want to drop that knee, go for it. You can see I'm certainly loving that spot and send it back, both knees. If you had your knees up, give yourself a little rest. Simple child's pose. And by simple, I mean we're not spending a lot of time. And come right back, curl those toes, high plank or low plank, extending your left leg off the ground, turning it out. Inhale here, exhale, left knee to left elbow. Leading with your breath, inhale, send it back, good job. Pushing it through the mat. Exhale, send that knee to your elbow. Inhale, send it back. Final one, you got it. Send it back. If you haven't dropped your knees, drop your knees. Shift forward, chaturanga. Leading with that chest. Good. Uncurl those toes. Walk the hands back a smidge. Elbows tucking in, nose towards the floor. Press up, low cobra, baby cobra. So really feel those elbows pressing in. You should feel it kind of in the triceps. Take a breath. Exhale, release. Walk those hands out towards your shoulders. Curl those toes. Move through uh, tabletop. Uh, uh, downward facing dog. Excellent. Just like that, we're going to move through a few times. You're going to take an inhale here. Exhale, release. Inhale, exhale, release. Wonderful. Inhale, exhale, and begin to walk those feet up towards your hands. Bend your knees, reach those arms up, up, up. They come together over your head. This time, swan dive. Arms reach out as you send that heart forward. Exhale. Inhale, flat spine, halfway lift. Extend through that neck. Exhale, plant those palms, step back, right leg and left leg, high or low plank. Inhale, hold. Exhale, shift forward, elbows tucking in. Try your best to land as flat as you can. You try your best. No need to do it. <laughs> Untuck those, tail, those toes, pulling the palms back. You can reach into your baby cobra or maybe go a little higher, pulling in those elbows. Inhale. And exhale. Calm down. Hands come forward a smidge, tucking those toes, moving through tabletop or plank, downward facing dog. Well done. I hope we're feeling it, getting warm. Inhale here. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. This time bend your knees and we're going to walk our hands towards our feet. Inhale, reach those arms up, up, up. Palms come together. Exhale, dive forward however you like. Inhale, halfway lift. Lengthen through your spine, back of your neck. Exhale, release. Inhale, now we're going to walk our hands to, into our plank. High plank or low plank, wherever you feel. Inhale, tall, along. Exhale, shift forward. Bend your elbows. Chatter on back. Untuck those toes. Pulling the palms back, cobra, low cobra or high cobra. Just keep those uh, elbows pulled in. Next exhale, lower down. <sighs> Moving up through our tabletop, open those knees and take a rest. You just did a bunch of sun salutations. <laughs> well done, well done, well done. You can gently rock your forehead side to side. 
I feel any heat, just register where do I notice, how do I know I'm hot, or how do I know um, I'm energized or waking up, or any of the feelings you're feeling. How does Catherine know she drank several too many cups of tea? Well, I'm sweating a lot. <laughs> I'll blame that on the sun. All right, anyhow, coming back to our tabletop. Wonderful job. Walking those hands a little bit in front, tucking those toes, leading with the hips. Inhale, downward facing dog, and release. Let's just check our alignment. Our knuckles flat. Are we pushing away with our hands? And our heels, are they pulling towards the ground? They may not touch the ground, but are we energizing towards the ground? So we're really activating our calf area. Oh yeah. Take one more inhale here. Exhale. Inhale, extend the right leg, toes down. And exhale, bringing it up towards your belly button, towards your chin. We're gonna try to launch it in between our hands. Boah. However many steps that takes. Excellent. So often here we do our high lunge, low lunge se uh, sequence. We're actually gonna move into a warrior one today, which is the first time we've done it over Zoom. Again, I'm not in your bodies. Do what feels good for you. Make any changes that you need to make. So we're here hanging out in high lunge. Let's just take a moment. If you have blocks, you can certainly hold them under your hands. Think of sending your, your left hip, your back hip, forward in space a little bit so it's in line with your right hip. Your hips might even rise a little bit when they square. Excellent. Now we're gonna take our left heel, plant it on the ground at a diagonal. So your left toe should be pointing to the left front diagonal, uh, left front corner of the room. Back heel is down. Front leg is lunged. We're gonna reach our arms out. You can keep them on your hips if you'd like, and then reach them up. Warrior one. Warrior one is my least favorite warrior. So here we are. Happy Saturday, Catherine. Just take a moment, check in your alignment. You can drop your hands. Is your knee right over that second toe? Is it going beyond your ankle? If so, draw it back in space. Check out that back foot. Is it on a nice slant? We don't want it turned out like in Warrior Two. We don't want it pointing perfectly front. Nice diagonal. And just as we did with lunge, sending that left hip forward in space. Arms can stay on your hips. Send them up. Take a deep breath here. Exhale, feel strong. Warrior one. Inhale, can you draw your leg muscles towards each other so you're activating them? Even if it doesn't look like much, you feel your legs energizing like they're magnetized towards each other. Keep breathing. Next exhale, bring our hands back to our hips. You can straighten your front knee for a little break. We're gonna come back down into a warrior one. Turn your back toes into a lunge. So we're in a high lunge. Our Toes are pointing to the front. Our heel is pointing to the back. We're gonna move into our warrior three. We're gonna try this a couple times. So if this seems confusing, you'll get the hang of it. So we're in our high lunge. Warrior three was what we did last week where we sent our back foot behind us. So our goal is to go from warrior one and just feel what the transition would be like to go right into warrior three. Take your time, stop wherever you need to stop. So we've met in this high lunge, and you're gonna think of sending your energy, like your hips almost forward. Then so you're gonna to wanna to like kick someone in front of you with that back leg. That's the energy. So if you wanna even practice lifting off, take a few moments to play around. Lifting off that back foot and catching yourself wherever you are. Just keep in mind, wherever you need to straighten up, if your legs are hurting, shake them out. Arms can stay at your hips. You can send them out in front of you. All right, so just take a couple moments, I'll leave you to it, to just feel, find your balance, find something to look at just in front of your mat. Back foot will be flexed. Excellent. And let's take a second to shake it out. We're gonna move from warrior one into our high lunge, warrior three. All right, so we're gonna step our right foot in front, left foot back on a diagonal, Bending that right knee so it's directly over our ankle. Inhale, arms up, warrior one. Exhale. Inhale, tall. Exhale, cur uh, turning that back foot into a lunge facing the front. Squared hips. Inhale here. 
and exhale. Inhale, get ready to launch off that back foot. Try to lead it with a breath, an inhale or an exhale. Inhale, and I'm gonna exhale it up. Woo, right into my candle table. Wherever it finds you. Woo. Lost all my balance. There we go. And try to hang out. If you fall out of it, come hop right back in. The transitions are the hardest part. See, now I'm like, oh, it's fine. If you're still with me, hold it for three. Flex that back foot, two. One, send it back. High lunge. Hands come down to the floor. Step your right foot back to meet your left. Squeezing through your um, glutes. Lean forward. Inhale. Exhale. Chaturanga. Untuck those toes. Baby or high cobra. Or maybe you go into a uh, upward dog. Exhale. Brings you down. Untuck those toes. Move through tabletop. Back into your downward dog. Excellent job. We're gonna do the same thing on the left with a little less uh, demonstration. We're just gonna go right into playing around. Inhale, our left foot lifts. Exhale, curve through that spine. Keep that knee as high as you can. Maybe it takes a couple hops. Step it in between. High lunge. Excellent, we're gonna plant that right heel on a diagonal. If you'd like, you can even use your front leg to help support you as you rise. Warrior one. Good, if you're kind of playing around here, warrior one is sort of awkward. Feel um, if you need to bring your legs in more or wider. Check your alignment. Is your knee over your second toe? Is your back foot on a nice diagonal? Can we square those hips? Squeezing our legs towards each other. Inhale, tall. Exhale, hold. Inhale, begin to turn the back foot into a high lunge, squaring the hips, toes pointing forward. Take a breath cycle here. Inhale to prepare. Exhale to launch off the back foot, finding stability in the front. Warrior three. Hands can be at your hips, can be overhead. If you're still with me here, hold it for three. Deep breath, two, lengthen one, and come back in some form of grace to a high lunge. Hands come down on either side of your feet, sending your left foot back, and find your plank. Take a deep breath here. Exhale, leaning forward, elbows tucked in lower to the ground, untucking those toes, moving up into your cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, release. Come into your tabletop. Open those knees. Send back those hips. Take a rest. Option here, you can bring your elbows to the floor, palms into a prayer, and just drop those palms behind your neck. Just a variation. Excellent, releasing those hands, moving up through tabletop, finding your position again, shoulders above wrists, hips above knees, stepping your hands back a little, tucking your feet, downward facing dog. Inhale here, exhale release. Inhale here, exhale release. We're gonna bend our knees and once again, walk our hands, towards our feet. Here we're gonna get a nice stretch through our hamstrings. You can either use your uh, peace fingers and thumb and reach your big toe, giving yourself ample bend in your knees. Or you can like insert your <laughs> hands like pancake style underneath your feet, toes touching the creases of your hands. You can even play around which one is nicer for you. But definitely bend your knees, especially to protect our hamstrings, which work so hard and are so tight. Can you tell I've had hamstring injuries? Keep a slight knee, bending your knees wherever you are. Relax the back of your neck and breathe. If 
Can we bring even more breath into this position? And more of a release. Excellent, relax the back of your neck. And begin to release one hand and then the other. Bend your knees, send those arms out and up. Hands come to prayer above your head and then just send them to your heart in a prayer Tadasana mountain pose. Eyes come to close. Maybe you notice the blood rushing out of the area around your ears. Maybe you're a little woozy because of the heat or maybe you're just like excellent, you know, you can be one of a million things. You can be many of a million things. I'm gonna stop talking. Let's have a moment in Tadasana. Excellent. And release your hands, give them a little shake. Eyes can flicker open. Let's just inhale our shoulders up to our ears and exhale, send them back down. Inhale, shoulders up to ears. Exhale, back down. Let's quickly move through a couple rounds of Breath of Joy while we are here. If you join me on Wednesday, this is a little different than what we did on Wednesday. Uh, it has a couple more steps, but it's delightful if you just can like surrender to it. So it's three positions I will show you uh, if you haven't done it before. You're going to keep your knees definitely bent. You're going to send your arms up. Three inhales in a row. Inhale, up. Inhale, up. Inhale, up. Exhale, release. And just like swing it down. We're gonna move through three rounds of breath of joy. So everybody step with your legs nice and wide. Give yourself a good bend. There's nothing worse than like bending forward and your knees are like, oh, I didn't know we were doing that. So three inhales, inhale, 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 release. And you can take it in your own breath. After my releases, I like to kind of dangle for a second, but do however you like. Ready, and here we go, inhale one. Inhale two, inhale three, release. Inhale one, two, Three, release. Inhale, one, two, three. And you can keep going there or you can just round up. Give yourself a little shake. Welcome yourself back into the room. Wonderful. All right, well now that our legs are wide, let's separate them even more so they're about underneath our wrists if we were to extend our arms. Toes are gonna point forward, slight micro bend in your knees. Gonna inhale tall. You're gonna exhale, pivot, left arm comes to the front, right arm comes to the back, gaze comes to the right. Inhale back to the front. Exhale, reverse it, twist the other side. Trying to keep your arms in a nice airplane, not over twisting. Inhale back to the front. Exhale, halfway twist. From here you can reconnect with your breath. You inhale, that brings you to center. Your exhale invites a twist. You can really start to measure the rate at which you're inhaling and exhaling by how fast or slow your body is moving at any particular moment. We relax our shoulders in this position. On your next inhale, facing the front, just take a moment, drop your arms, give them a little shake. Inhale, bend your knees, arms come back out. Inhale, tall. Exhale, halfway pivot. <sighs> Inhale here. Exhale, reaching your left hand to your right ankle or block. You can even reach onto it. We're gonna hang out here. Wherever your hand comes, just make sure you have a micro bend in your knees. And try it to twist so that your heart is open, energized towards the sky. Excellent, you can play with your gaze. Maybe you'd like to look down, especially um, those with neck sensitivity probably don't wanna be forcing your head up. <laughs> Bend your knees, inhale to get back to our neutral five-pointed star. Exhale, twisting to the left or to the other side. Inhale here to prepare. Exhale, reaching that right hand to that left ankle. On your next inhale, Energize through that top hand, heart opens. Take a 
couple rounds of breath here. Your next inhale, bend your knees, come on back to our neutral five-pointed star. Now we're gonna move in one uh, single breath cycle. So we're going to inhale, touch. Exhale, come back. Inhale, reverse. Take your time with your breaths. We're not trying to speed up our breaths necessarily, unless that feels energizing for you. So again, I'm a guide, but try to just work with your inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. And here we begin, nice gentle bending your knees. Inhale tall, exhale touching down. Inhale tall, exhale reverse. Inhale here, exhale touch. Move in your own time, we'll do just a couple more rounds. Think again. Your breath lifts you, and your breath lowers you down. Really filling with air and releasing the air. You grow and shrink with your breath. Do one more each side. And when you finish, you can meet up in our five-pointed star. Neutral. Hands can come to your waist, bend your knees. Excellent. Take a moment here. Then we're gonna just turn our heels slightly inward. We're gonna bend, it doesn't have to be a deep squat. I'm just gonna bend. Think of your tailbone being in line with your spine. Um, now spine's curved, so think of tucking that tailbone just a, just a hair. Shoulder blades down and back. You're gonna inhale, lifting your right ankle. If you have shin issues or any sort of sensitivity there, please keep your heels down. Exhale, lower. Inhale, other leg. Inhale, heel up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, right. Exhale, lower. Inhale, left. Exhale, lower. If this feels good for you, keep doing it. Otherwise, if you want, if you want more sensation, Inhale, both heels. Check your balance. Exhale, lower. Two more. Inhale here. And lower. Trying not to lean too much into that pinky toe side. Distribute the weight. Excellent. And come back up. Toes pointing to the front. We're going to halfway bend. Inhale, halfway. Toss a lot. Lengthen through the spine. Exhale, release. Wherever you are, bending your knees. Give it a little bit of time here. And bend your knees and roll up one vertebrae at a time. Just checking my time. Shoulders come down. Very nice. You can either heel toe your feet in or like just step them in. It's not really that important. All right, we're gonna do just a stretch for uh, the top of our legs, our, um, our the muscles in our thigh. So we're gonna grip through the floor with our left foot. So you can first flex those toes and then kind of fan them out so they're really webbed. We're gonna step our right toes back just a little bit. And the trick is we don't want the knee to go out and then in. Um, you might see that a lot with people like on the track or something stretching. You wanna keep your knee right there, right where it started with your toes pointing forward. If you have to kind of twist it, it's not ideal for our knees. And we're just gonna do like the, you know, kind of that track stretch where we reach for our ankle. We're gonna extend our right hand, kind of like you're giving someone like, I don't know, you're, you're receiving a high five. And then you're gonna turn your palm in and reach for the ankle. Ooh, good. Your left arm can reach out. You might even wanna start it on your hip. You're out to the side. Just find a spot that's comfortable. Maybe your left arm comes up. And maybe you can start pressing into your hand with that right foot, giving it some energy. And maybe your knee starts lifting as your torso follows the line. It becomes forward a little bit. And this is your dancer pose. Your foot is pressing into that hand. Energize, energize, energize. If you fall out of it, hop back in. Woo. 
just like that. But just be careful of your knees as you do. Oh, someone's coming, someone's joining our class. And with a generous bend in your standing leg, lower it down, shake it up. Tip, uh, if you have a harder surface, generally your stability is better. So really thick yoga mats are great for knees, not awesome if you struggle with balance. We all struggle with balance, so whatever. Okay, so now we're gonna lift the toes of our right foot, drape them over the floor, really feel grounded in all the points of your feet. Can you even like mindfully bring your attention to that foot for a second? Yes, like gripping. Your left leg is gonna extend back, toes pointing forward. You know, bring your, receive a high five on your left side. Turn the palm down. You reach for that ankle, trying your best not to twist the knee out. Right hand can come to hip. Generally out, especially if um, this is a newer pose. This is a really nice um, counterbalance to have your arm out. Maybe your arm comes forward or up. Maybe you just wanna hang out here. Try not to lock out your knee too much with your standing leg. And then pressing into that hand that's holding your left foot, maybe your leg starts to rise. Pressing into that hand, pressing, pressing. Maybe your torso begins to dip forward ever so slightly. Dance or pose. Can you breathe? If you can micro bend through that standing leg, to lower down, woo, we flow, we flow. Excellent, shake it up. Whew. I notice I don't breathe so much in that because as soon as I finish, my heart's beating a lot and I have to take a big sip of air. So maybe I should um, modify so I can breathe a little bit more naturally. Wonderful, so if you've turned away from your, short, we're gonna turn to the short edge of our mat. We're gonna just separate our legs so the hips width distance apart, our final, Sun salutation, reach your arms up, dive forward however you like. <sighs> Inhale, halfway lift like you mean it. It's our final one of this practice. Exhale, now just hang for a moment. Let's just bring our awareness to our bodies here. From the first moment we did this in class, we did a bunch. Uh, do you notice your body feeling any different? Maybe the temperature is different. Maybe uh, the stretch itself feels different. Maybe you feel more or less bendy here. Do you find yourself being more or less or neutral, just able to anticipate the pose and therefore settle into it easier? Just take a moment, feel your own sensations. Excellent, now we're just gonna uh, bend our knees, walk our hands just a little more forward so we can stabilize ourselves and sit back down. Not the most graceful coming to sitting. I'm trying to work on like fun transitions from standing to sitting. There's only so many, I have to get more creative. All right, so we're gonna extend our legs so our knees are up. We're gonna work for a little bit of our abs. Um, we're going to sit with our, our um, fingers pointing to the back and first just flex your feet and lower them down. Flex your feet, and this is helpful if you have shin issues, just to kind of warm things up. And flex. Now we're gonna extend one leg, and then the other. And I'm gonna face you so you can see it. You're gonna make little circles with your feet. So you're gonna move through flex feet, open them up, and then as you come down, try to point those toes and pull them in. So you may wanna separate your feet. So I have small feet, so my legs don't separate that much. But you don't really wanna knock your toes into each other. Sitting up tall, heart stays open. Bring some breath into these circles. Gently, wherever you are, reverse. And reclaim the movement of your breath. Your feet start cramping, sometimes pointing does that. Simply bend your foot, flex it, and give it a little counter flex stretch. Shake it out. Good. And shake your legs out. Give them a little bit of thunder and make a little bit of noise. Excellent. Before we move into our core work, if you have a pillow or two, this is an excellent chance to use it. We're going to separate our legs a little bit, reaching your arms up. We're going to interlock our fingers, extend our index fingers tall, like you're an arrow shooting towards the sky. Inhale, 
And then exhale, try to send that arrow not down into the floor, but out into the sky in front of you. So an up diagonal. If you are very flexible and can go further, resist and use your muscles to keep you up. Take a deep breath to get long through that arrow. Exhale, flexing this. Inhale, tall. Exhale, same thing. Sending that tall length out through, like there's something in the sky and you're reaching for it. Like, hey, look at that wonderful cloud. It's in the shape of Miss Catherine. Something I would tell my ballet students. And then release it over your pillow if you have one. You don't want a pillow, you don't need one, it's fine. But I think a pillow is great, even if you don't need one per se. It's just, it makes stretching more uh, pleasant. <laughs> and then roll up, remove any props you have. And we're gonna slowly lay down, flexing your feet. You're gonna bring one hand underneath the back of your right leg, underneath the back of your left leg as supports back of your head is on the floor. You're going to inhale, right leg comes up just a couple inches, left leg comes to meet it. Take a couple breaths here. <sighs> Trying to keep your lower back pressing into the floor. Take a breath and lower down. <sighs> One more time like that. Inhale, right leg comes up, lower back is pressing into the floor, left leg meets it and stay engaged. Take a deep breath. And lower down. Take a couple breaths. Next, we're gonna go into a little bit of scissor kicks. And then we will be done. So we're going to inhale, right leg comes up, left leg meets, and breathe as you scissor up and down, little flutter kicks. For 10, lower back presses in the ground, nine. Keep breathing, eight, seven, deep breath, six. You can do it, flex your feet, four, Three, two, two and a half, which is going the wrong way, and you're a one. And stretch your arms up, stretch your feet. Wonderful. And we're gonna slowly, using as much of the arm support as possible, curl yourself back up. We're gonna find our way into a half pigeon. So I'm gonna face you, I think that would be that would be best. So you're sitting up. You're gonna first bring your knees to point to the sky, feet on the ground. You're gonna drop your right leg. So the side of your shin is resting towards the ground, maybe it's not flat. Your left leg, you're gonna swing around the back. You're gonna use your hands to support you to get uh, in between the, the, those hips even. And then you're gonna either walk your hands forward or just stay here. You try to avoid leaning on one side of your hip and the other and using your hands to lift you so you really feel that you're center in between those hips. Your back toe can be flexed underneath or it can be long, untucked. Take a deep breath to get tall wherever you are. If you haven't already walked your arms out, feel free to play with this. If you're experiencing pain in your hip, Try bringing that heel closer to your pelvis. Another modification that is delightful, it's more of a variation, sticking a pillow right there. So your hips are exactly where they need to be, but they have some support, so they're not um, taking on too much pressure. From here, just bring in some deep breaths. very carefully using your hands you need to walk yourself back up option to bend your back foot if you like your back knee I mean and if you'd like to use your right hand to reach uh, your left hand to reach towards it that's a, a variation on king pigeon excellent and then you're going to swing your left leg back to the front neutralize everything you're going to drop your left leg Whatever it falls in front, sending your right leg back, using your hands to get right in between those hips. You can uh, tuck the back toes under or keep them long. Inhale to get tall. Exhale to walk yourself down. If you need a pillow, 
slide it under wherever you feel the most sensation. Oh, I love the smell of the basement floor. Oh, good times. Maybe on your inhales, even in your mind's eye, your back just gets a little longer. And your exhales, you drop into that space that you created. Wonderful. And using your hands carefully and slowly bring yourself back up. If you'd like the modification on King Pigeon, left hand comes as a support in front of your leg. Right hand reaches towards your back foot. Your knee is bending. Excellent. Even maybe test your balance. I'm leaning on a pillow. My balance is not this good. Okay. Take a deep breath here. That's a really intense thigh stretch. And Good, and then swing that leg around. Extend them both and give them a nice shake. Wonderful, now we're gonna make little fists. We're gonna bend our right knee just so gently. We're gonna give our calf area a little massage, just like a little drumming back and forth. You might notice your muscles like wiggling back and forth. We need to walk those hands up, get into the top of the thigh, and underneath that hamstring area. Good. If you can even twist a little bit and get that glute, self massage um, can be miraculous. Really bringing some uh, releasing, it re really helps release energy, uh, release tension. That's why people get massages. And work your way back down. Good. You can even reach and give your foot a little massage if that's something that you don't mind doing. I don't always want to touch my feet, <laughs> but today's fine. <laughs> Good. And also, I think even if our feet are gross, like give them a massage. We deserve it. And extend that right leg out. Bend your left knee. Make little fists and begin to go up your calf. Little gentle um, love punches. And working your way up. On your top. You're like the really muscly parts of the leg underneath. If you can lean a little bit to that right, really getting that um, glute, maybe even that thigh area. Release your tension, release your tension, and working your way back down, maybe reaching your hands and giving yourself a foot massage. Uh, there are some practices of healing that um, believe that the feet contain lots and lots of pressure points that with, um, regular and uh, kind of mindful pressure, you can release a lot of the tension elsewhere in your body and, you know, and heal in like lots of different ways. I just think it feels quite nice. And then release, excellent. And ever so carefully rolling, trying one vertebrae at a time, come back to our long back. I'm gonna dim the lights a little on my end. Just take a rest on your back here. I need to get a dimmer in my like whatever future house. I'm gonna take a breath and release. Right, you're gonna bring your um, knees to face the point of the ceiling, bending those knees, gripping through the floor with your feet. That, that makes sense. We're gonna move into our bridge if that helps. And you're gonna want your heels to be as close to your booty as if you could uh, reach your hands out and touch the backs of your heels. That's how close you want them. All right, plant those hands. Inhale, think of your belly button pressing into your spine. Exhale, lifting those hips off the floor. You can bring your hands underneath to support you. Take a breath. Your next exhale, roll back to the floor. Take a breath here. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, pressing the lower back towards your belly button, lifting up. You can use your hands as a support. Take a breath. On your next release, on your next exhale, release the position one vertebrae at a time. Take a cleansing cycle of breath. This is our final bridge. 
we wind down our practice. Take an inhale just to reset. Exhale, pressing the lower back into the floor, lifting from your belly button. Hands can come to support to our bridge. Hold it for one more cycle of breath. And on your next exhale, roll down through the spine, trying to resist gravity a little bit. And then just let your knees gently fall from one side to the other in a windshield wiper fashion. Excellent. Keeping our knees up, we're going to extend our right leg and just cross it over our left, reaching your arms out to your side. Out, uh, they can be goal posts if you don't have much room, or you can extend them fully up. Palms down, grip into that earth, and just gently drop those knees to the left side, trying to counter the stretch with your right shoulder pressing into the ground just as much as your left. Maybe your gaze reaches over to the right side, so you're in this big letter S. This is intense on your hips. Pillows under your knees, it's just lovely. Like, pillows make everything better, always. Inhale to bring those knees back up and uncross. Reverse the stretch, so left leg crosses over. On your next exhale, dropping those knees to the right side. Maybe your gaze comes to the left. Maybe you're pressing into the floor with that left shoulder. You're just kind of wringing out any energy that's not serving you as we wind down here. Just bring it all out. Maybe your eyes even close. So next inhale, slowly let those knees come up, uncross them, and move into my favorite happy baby. So you're going to inhale, lifting those feet off the floor, reaching so your hands are on the outside of your feet, your elbows are nicely on the inside of your knees, and just play around with rocking side to side. Maybe you pull one leg gently towards the floor and the other. Some people like to straighten their knees. I am not that person. Ugh. You can try it if you want to play. <laughs> if you are straightening your knees, just be mindful if you have any hamstring or calf um, sensitivity. This is like my favorite. Like we have yoga class and like everyone farts in this position. It's just like release. <laughs> it's like the ultimate like manifestation of release. <laughs> it's so funny. <sighs> I love it. Excellent. And whenever you're ready, if you want to just give it one more little good uh, wiggle. You're going to bring the, the bottoms of your feet to touch and gently guide those feet to the ground. And your knees are going to, so your knees are going to splay open. Baddha Sutta Konasana, I believe is the very anglified version of the pose. You can place pillows under your knees if this opening is, is a little too open for you. And just rest here. to re, um, what is the word for calling back, recall back? <laughs> you have to recall <laughs> that deep breathing, that breath that drops not only into your chest, but moves through your heart and drops into your belly. Maybe this breath doesn't just drop in, but it, ex it drops in and expands out the sides of your body too. So you fill up 360 degrees with this life force, this prana. And as you release it, you release it into the earth and you release it into the air. Maybe your inhales don't just come in through your mouth or through your nose, but they come in through your whole torso. Your whole heart takes in air. 
and releases it throughout your entire body. When you're ready, remove any pillows you might have. And set yourself up into a final pose of surrender. Maybe you have a pillow under your head or under your knees for low back support. Maybe you like it under your shoulders to really open that heart. Find a position where you can just let your toes drop open and let your palms be face up or face down. And you can still connect with that deep breath. And maybe you want to send a little gratitude or appreciation to this mindful awareness that you've been sending to your breath. Just let that breath also just take on its own course like a leaf floating down a river. Like, thank you, breath. I trust that you'll be there. I just don't need to pay attention to you anymore. I'm going to sit up because I'm going to um, begin to read to you. I'm also going to close the door to emphasize uh, some of the silence we've created. Today I'm gonna to just read you a poem, a Walt Whitman poem called, O Son of Real Peace. And that's peace, P-E-A-C-E. -E. O son of real peace, O hastening light, O free and ecstatic, O what I hear preparing warble for. O the son of the world will ascend, dazzling and take his height. And you too, O oh my idol, will surely ascend. Oh, so amazing and broad, up there and resplendent, darting and burning. Oh, vision prophetic, staggered with weight of light, with pouring glories. Oh, lips of my soul, already becoming powerless. Oh, ample and grand uh, presidentiads, now the war, the war is over. Take a deep inhale, let the words pass through or over you as they may. Maybe you hate Walt Whitman. You're just acknowledging the words as they enter your ears. I'm going to just read the very beginning and the very end one more time. O oh, son of real peace, O oh, hastening light, Oh, free and ecstatic. Oh, what I hear preparing warble for. Oh, lips of my soul already becoming powerless. Oh, ample and grand presidentiads. Now the war, the war is over. Just take a final inhale to those words and release them. Let them too float down the river, it's out of sight. Take a few moments on your own in silence. Let yourself have a few moments in silence. I invite you to stay here as long as you're able. Continue to tap in internally. If you need a little more of a guided wake up, I invite you now to just bring some subtle movement back into your body. Maybe you brush the hair out of your face. 
Maybe you wiggle your toes a little bit. Reach those arms up over your head, stretching from fingers down your body to your toes. Letting your breath be heavy. And roll over onto your favorite side, maybe tucking those knees in a little bit. Using your arms, gently press yourself up into a comfortable sitting position. Eyes can still be closed. Let's bring our hands back to that chin mudra, our, the backs of our hands resting on our legs, index finger, the individual, uniting with the thumb, the universal. Just take a breath here. And exhale, begin to bow just slightly forward honoring yourself for coming to this class in the most unusual fashion with everything that we're going on, honoring each other for also coming here together and honoring everyone who's not here or maybe by recognizing the healing power and unity within us. We can see that in others. Maybe we can, uh, maybe we can see the world in a little bit more of a, a healthy light or send healing and health to the world. I don't know. Those are some mixed thoughts I have. I um, really want the world to heal and I really think it can. So this is just a nice moment where I know we can come together and heal together. As always, thank you so much. Namaste to those of you who really resonate with namaste. Thank you to everybody. I wish you the best with our sunny weekend here. I hope you uh, stay well. Message me with any questions, concerns. You can always just reply back to the emails I send. And, um, and do well. Do good things. I love you all. Bye, everyone.